peace, peace, peace. This is Crown Zays. All right, I'm gonna end this um, video. This is the last video. I'm gonna be talking about pornography. All right, and as I um, define pornography in my other videos, I'm gonna bring it out here again. For what I have researched and what I looked up, and it says the word pornography derived from the Greek "porny" prostitute. Greek word "porny." Which comes from prostitute, prostitute comes from porny. And its graphene to write was originally defined as any work of art or literature respecting the life of prostitutes. Alright, and I got a scripture for you porn stars out there. Alright, you famous porn stars or you know, those that's doing, you know, non profit videos, you know, that's selling themselves out, you know, the scripture best fits for you and your criteria. Deuteronomy chapter 23 and 18. He said, Thou shalt not bring the hire of a whore or the price of a dog into the house of the Lord thy God for any vow, for even both these are abominations unto the Lord thy God. So if you're a porn star, you believe in God, that scripture goes out to you. And just remember that, you know, someone warned you and told you about it. And this is the year, so called 2020. You need to repent and stop because the sooner we get closer to the end, I'm telling you, man, the sooner the death, the sooner the wickedness and abomination will be upon you. And if you don't care, then this is your world. You are not of your father, the most high. Yeah, all right. Okay, so that was that one scripture. Now, I'm going to talk about the body. This is for you viewers, not those that have been watching porn, okay? Meanwhile, watching porn, your body's active and it's sexually lustful. And we know lust is a sin. So, here are the scriptures that fit your criteria. I'm going to go to Matthew chapter 6, 22 through 23. And this is dealing with your eye. For when you're watching, because you're delivering yourself into a port, or you're watching someone else having sex, you know their abomination. And you're talking about you can't have this help. I can't help myself. Spirit is still whack off and over ejaculate. It's wrong. Trust me, it's dead wrong watching. A real woman would say this. A real one that's guilty will come out with himself and come real, come to their conscience. Because the conscience tells you it's not for you, it's not for your temple. Be holy, be cleansed. Don't need to be unclean because it's an unclean thing and you have unclean spirits. Alright? And you need to get rid of them. You have an addiction. This is what you need to tell yourself. Look in the mirror and be like, I'm going to stop. And if I do it again, I am a bitch, I am a sellout. Right? You don't want to call yourself that. You want to say that I got this. I can deliver myself out of this wickedness. This thing that I'm watching. So let me get to the the other uh, scripture. Matthew chapter 6. Just remember I told y'all. Y'all won't be watching it in real person. In reality. But you watching it behind doors. You know what I mean? You watching it in your own. Wherever. Outside. Wherever you at. This could cause you to have a extreme, severe, wicked addiction. I'm telling you, man, it's abomination. You got that feeling, that's a bad spirit burning, and you're telling you, like, it's juicing you out, it's sucking up your soul. It's not right, man. Trust me, it's not right. Look, you can have high, bad hygiene problems, relationship issues. You could turn off for so many things, it could destroy your endorphins. Matthew chapter 6, verse 22. They said, The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thy eye be single, the whole body shall be full of light. But if thy eye be evil, okay, just your eye being evil, watching porn, this is in Verse 23, okay? And this is written in record. This is the Son, this is the Messiah saying this, okay? But if thy eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is thy darkness? How great can that darkness be abundantly? You don't want that darkness to be great. All right. Next scripture. Your hand. Your hand causing you sin. Meanwhile, you're, you know, smashing yourself or watching or whatever you're doing, playing with yourself. This goes out to both gender. This goes out to the Christians. This goes out to the Hebrew Israelites. All right. It's wrong. It's that wrong. All right. This is Matthew 5 and 30. Chapter 5, I'm going to read, verse 30. 
I write these scriptures down. The first scripture I brought up was Deuteronomy chapter 23 and 18 for the point stars. And this right here, um, Matthew 6 and 22, he was talking about the eye, you know, the evil eye and the holy eye. And this right here I'm going to bring out is called Matthew chapter 5. It's going to be in Matthew chapter 5 when I'm talking about the hand. You gotta cut your hand off. That means you have to cut off, chop it off, saw it off, or whatever. It's time you spiritually you cut off whatever that's causing your side. It will cause your other side to do wicked. Good and evil are mixed on. Good and evil don't mix. Okay, so Matthew chapter 5. Alright, so it said Matthew chapter 5 and verse 30. If thy right hand offend thee, cut it off and cut it from thee. For it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish and that the whole body should be cast into hell. Alright, so that's talking about your, your other side that you gotta cut off. It's not telling you to chop off, commit suicide, chop off your arms, your legs, and your foot, or pluck your eyes out. No, that's abomination. You're doing that to yourself. It's telling you spiritually in your spirit, your spirit, your spiritual body, something that you have to cut off, something that you have to make sure is prohibited. That's what you must do. Okay. All right. Now I'm again to Mark. Again to another scripture that talks about your hand. I think we have another scripture that talks about your hand. This is in Mark chapter nine. Matthew. Mark is next to Matthew. Right behind Matthew. Okay, so Mark chapter chapter nine, verse forty three, and if thy hand offend thee, cut it off, it's better for thee to enter into life main that have two hands to go into hell into the fire that never shall be quenched where their worm died not yet that worm died not and the fire is not quenched and if thy foot offend thee cut it off it is better for thee to enter enter a halt into life than having two feet to be cast into hell to the fire that need, never shall be quenched so if that's telling you that you got to cut off your wicked side your innocent side must not perish with your wicked side. Okay? You can't have this good and bad side. You can't have you have something built in you, program, you have a device in you with the whole side built in you. And for you to spiritually just live out your life in the holy way and live a normal life. Stay away from things that are so sweet, so so seducing. You know, be careful with these seducing spirits out here that's what you need to be aware of. Please take heed to this message. If you're watching this live, uh, you're watching this video, you won't be in one. You choose not to listen, abomination will be upon you. This goes out to me too. Alright, so that was Mark chapter 9, verse 43 through 48. Now I'm going to go to the heart in Jeremiah. Let's talk about the heart. Jeremiah chapter 17. <clears throat> Jeremiah chapter 17 and 9. The heart deceitful. Heart is very deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Who can know the heart? Where's your heart? What's the position of your heart? Don't fall out your heart. A lot of Christians like to say this. I go by the heart. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful of the heart because the heart is very deceiving. This is where your emotion centers at, your feelings and your streams at. All things could be taking place inside that heart that can insert into your heart, which is something spiritually negative. Right, this is just a basic video, basic long video for those who come here to, to understand, all right? So that was Jeremiah, chapter 17 and 9. Now we get to Proverbs. I'm going to give you some wisdom real quick off of that after that, all right?
problem is 21 and 4. And high look and a proud heart and the plowing of the wicked is sin. Okay, reading it right here in Proverbs 21 and 4. And it says, a high look and a proud heart and the plowing of the and the plowing of the wicked is sin. So when you are you watching porn, you just see viewers, you are you enjoying it, you having a proud proud heart, you consenting, all right, to commit sin. You're agreeing to commit this sin. You will sign a devil contract spiritually, a righteous spirit, and cast it. We will be cast it off, getting the sin and enjoying like here. Okay, it's a reward. You're being blessed by the devil that way. Okay, by watching pornography, you're being blessed that way. It's a big blessing for you. You don't want to get blessed by from the devil for something wicked, from following out to your heart. It's a wicked heart. Be careful of it. So that was Proverbs 21 and 4. Now let's get on some facts on lust as you watch porn, okay? I'm gonna bring out Matthew chapter 5. This is to those that's watching a woman, watching a man, and you're not married to that person, okay? And it says in Matthew right here, okay? Just to you read very nice to Christians and to whosoever that's watching pornography. Alright, but this is maybe for you Hebrew Israelites. And that's you that's supposed to keep it holy, alright? It's supposed to keep the Sabbath, keep the law, statutes commanded. Alright? This is where you pick up obedience. So as I read out Verse 28, by saying to you that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her have committed adultery for her already in his heart. Whoa, he talks about the heart again. This is Jesus Christ talking about the heart. I thought the heart is a good thing. You know, because when you see whatever you feel, when you see, when your feelings are coming from right here, your heart, right inside your heart, the heart that beats. Okay, so it said, say I, but I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman, all right, or a man, to lust after her, have committed adultery. You hear that word? Lust after her, committed adultery for her already in his heart. So lust is in the heart. All right? That's another proof. That's a right away there. All right? So multiple pornography need to be banned. That's facts right there. You're looking at that woman, even if you take a little glimpse, even if you try to cover the dude penis. I didn't know all the tricks, the tactics. Listen, I used to not even watch the man ride. I used to just watch the woman and everything. You know what I'm saying? I just watch the woman and go. And I just like, I'm looking at her titties. I'm looking at everything. I'm looking at this guy juices all over the woman. Like, it's sodomy, man. It's the spirit of sodomy. It's disgusting as hell. It's nasty as hell, man. It's unclean, man. In person, no man want to watch no woman semen in person. I mean, watch a semen, a man semen just loose hanging out, a seed dropping out like that. You wouldn't watch that in person. It would look disgusting as hell. Just by looking at someone else's semen, you have your unclean in the eyes, period. Your eyes should be burned out. You're nasty as hell. Cut that crap out, man. And be a man. Man up. You got this. We at war right now. A spiritual war right now. It's no time for pornography. It's time to put an end to the wickedness on from what doesn't feel right. It needs to stop. I don't care what anybody thinks about me or whatever anybody has to say or want to consider me as an enemy for this. Hey, man, if you have any questions, drop them down now. If you want to hit me up, hit me up on Crown Zillas on, on, on Instagram or Andrew St. Zillas on Facebook. I will reply. Trust me, I will reply to all. No matter who you are, government, who you are, so you can hear from my, you know, behalf of the story, behalf of my proof, you know, while advocating for pornography to be destroyed. And since the government is not going to ban it, then you know what? It may it might as well just have curses out to the government for even allowing it, because the government is not even consistent itself. It's not consistent at all. 
for having these videos out, you know, destroying lives already out there, no matter what, even if the government banned it, people still have leftovers and videos, so regardless, whoever watching is supporting me, you support me, you, your father's the devil, your father's saying, and if you go, if your father's the devil, then you're a devil, you're saying yourself, um, that's it, in the spirit, you burning your flesh and the spirit at the same time, right, okay, now, so, um, what's my next scripture? I'm again to first John because this is definitely lots of the world. Definitely. Let me bring out John for what a lot of these Christians be you know like to bring out to us all. John, John, John. Well, I'm gonna bring out John in the um in the new New Testament, alright, which is a new consent. Then the times the new consent being written, okay? Facts from the Son of Messiah is the the the, the, the records from Messiah is so powerful from Jesus Christ, so powerful. Makes sense. What's wrong with it? Makes sense. I don't hear no other books. I don't hear any conscious community talk. Conscious, conscious community talk about anything like this. It's separating you, causing you to be holy. You know. If I'm saying something wrong, it's not you. It's not me. You hanging. It's the truth you hanging. Whosoever that's telling facts to you hanging their facts. The facts that you're going against. You're guilty of it. That means you live in a wordless life where you don't care, you know. And I just don't got no time for it because I don't need to be out this world. So I'm going to get out. I'm going to bring out First John. Give me one second to find First John. <clears throat> First John, chapter 2. Verse 16, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but it's of the world. This is in John chapter 2, verse John. You could write that down, verse John chapter 2, all right? Verse 16, and then you go up a little bit, verse 15. And it said, love not the world, neither the things that are, are in the world. If any man love the world, love the other father is not in him. So um, how do you expect the most happy with you? So you believe in God. How do you believe in God? You will believe in his love and you will get his love back to him by showing his laws, that's his commandments, and being holy. That's it. Even if you live in a bored life or whatever, stay away from this nonsense, man. It's to bring you out of your spirit. You're doing something too good. And once you once once you deliver yourself out of it. And then you're gonna be tried. You're gonna be tempted. You're definitely gonna be tempted. You're gonna have things that's this energy that's gonna to wanna to pull you back. Same thing I had this energy that pulled me back in it. And next minute, it was seduce me, deceive me. Where does energy coming from in my mind? I know what's wrong. I know what's not right. I don't wanna have this I don't care spirit, man. I wanna be a good father, a good dad around my children. I don't wanna carry this unclean spirit in my body. It's wrong. You know? definitely wrong. It makes sense. So all facts I'm bringing out, you know, so you know, everyone put an end to pornography on your own world while watching this video. Please support. Alright? So, don't follow for this world. Don't be of this world because all these things come from the world. And like I said, came from the Greeks. Uh, brought out pornography. You know, derived from the Greeks. Porn, which means you're being a prostitute. You're selling yourself out too as well. Even watching these people, you're selling yourself out. You're compromising. Hallelujah. All praise to y'all for me to even delivering this message out to anyone. Especially y'all to the lost sheep. Okay. So you're supposed to walk into the spirit. That's what you need to be doing. Walk into the spirit. Let me bring out Galatians 5 and 16. Chapter 
chapter 5, verse 16. Galatians chapter 5, verse 16. And it said this, I say then, walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Okay. So let me say it one more time. It said this, I say then, walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Just walk in the spirit. You are the spirit. Walk not in the lust of the flesh. Beware. You've been born. Beware. You got this. Boil up your fist and tell yourself this, that you got this. Pull up both of your fists and say you got this. How the Bible wrestle with yourself and say you got this. You're going to get out of this. You're going to eliminate the streams inside of you. This negative energy. Let it out. Let's see what else I have here in the New Testament. This is what you tell the spirit right here, all right? This is what you, anytime you have Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, okay? Just remember this, in verse 18, chapter 6, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 18, it says, flee fornication, every sin that a man doeth is without the body, but he that committed fornication sin against his own body, so you sin against yourself. You want to tell yourself this, flee fornication, flee with it. You're not going to give me any sin. You're not going to cause me to defeat myself, though, all right? To devour myself, to garnish my spirit and my flesh. You will have a rotten soul, you will have a rotten body. You will have everything in your DNA being destroyed, all right? And in the mind. If you will make you go crazy, you will make you go insane, it will make you go nuts, bananas, anything bizarre, it will make you lose your mind. Trust me, it will make your body out of shape, it will shape shift you by the way. Okay, so beware. Um, what else I have? Even angels, you know, I could show proof that angels, it was angels that sinned and just cast into this world. And in this dark world, and remember, the Most High formed darkness too as well. And the darkness, you know, was you know had evil in it. You know what I'm saying? These fallen angels. This world is hell, okay. And then we lead to the second death. A lot of us would, a lot of us will be getting led to the second death if we don't listen. You know what I mean? To these things that you know that we know is wrong. I'm telling you, if you feel a, a feeling. So itchy feeling or whatever, and you know what's wrong, you still gonna do it. I'm telling you, that's the crack of fire right there in your skin, man, in your spirit, man. Information, man. I'm itching right now. There's somebody right now that's watching porn. Somebody probably watching porn right after this video, probably just now done watching porn. I'm not judging you, but I pray that you stop. Alright? I pray you get out of that wicked condition. So they bring out the power where the angels are like streams. They're like a stream to us in this world. And they have possession because Satan, they are Satan agents. Demons are the agents of Satan. No matter what way you say it all, you know. And I ain't with the devil thing though. I ain't with that. We West Indians are not with the wickedness. We real West Indians are not with this, man. And sisters, you know. This is why they have government programs where they have those that have masturbation addiction, pornography addiction, you know what I mean? It's a cycle process. So we wanna make sure there's no more on government programs. We wanna make sure that we have this right as the Bible program. You shouldn't have no man telling you anything. You should have the words, the words of the Bible, the Spirit of Jesus. Whatever message that you wanna hear from wherever that's telling you good information, that's telling you to, to play this, this. Take this thing from watching pornography, man. I don't trust nobody watching pornography. Any man or uh, person watching pornography, I can't even trust them around watching, being around my children. I would not, man. I don't even know what most.
close to your hands and even bend and your eyes bend, you know. So let me get to the scripture. The angels, excuse me for that. I'm talking too much, a little bit too much. All right. Second Peter. I'm gonna let the most I speak. The scripture speak, his word speak, all right. Second Peter 2 and 14. Have her eyes full of adultery. Oh, excuse me. Is this the right one? No, this is not the right one. I think it's Ezekiel. Yeah, it's Ezekiel. Let me hold this one. This scripture was next. Part of for that. We'll make little mistakes, but at least I'm doing something right, okay? <laughs> Bear with me, everyone. You know what, I'm gonna drop that one. I'm gonna leave the angels alone. I'm just gonna freestyle this one out. Let me just put it like this, there was angels. If you heard about angels being cast out of heaven, been kicked out, and there was a fallen angel, like it's Lucifer himself, he was thrown down. You could Google it and look that up yourself, though, look up the fallen angels, and look up the scriptures. Um, just type in what happened in heaven, or heaven, you know, all this, you know, war that was taking place in heaven and fell down on earth, man, you know. So right now, we in like in a freaking wasteland right now. In this whole world, the entire world, we in a wasteland right now, waiting to be judged in Judgment Day, you know. So just be wise of your actions, all right. All right, so I'm just going to read Ezekiel 18 and 20. <clears throat> and it said, yeah, this is definitely meant for you, all right. The soul that sin it, sin it, it shall die. The soul, the son shall not bear it. The iniquity of the father, neither shall the father bear the iniquity of the son. The righteous of the righteous shall be upon him, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. So beware, all right? Careful of sins, you're being warned in so many ways. Now, this scripture right here, I know. This is not a scripture dealing with your eyes again. Forgive me for pointing or anything, but I'm just showing you where exactly where your eyes are. This is your eyes right here. Okay. What you see, what you look at. What you, if you look at anything, you're actually gathering information and string going into your eyes. You're being inserted into your eyes. Trust me. You've been watching it and you're consuming it. All right? And it's in you. So what you have seen was something unrated that you was not supposed to be seen. You don't got there. X, X, X. Like, what's wrong with you, man? <laughs> it's unrated. That's why this, that's, and s s real, I'm going to say small shout out to them porn sites that be saying you really need to be 18 and all this stuff, but still is abomination regardless for any of you. So, for people all ages, stop. Stop. Pull a stop as soon as you hear this and be like, yeah, he's right, it's time, you know, I gotta stop. It's wrong. I wanna change my life. Alright, so second Peter. <clears throat> Peter 2 and 14. Have an eyes full of adultery and that cannot cease from sin. Be God in unstable souls and heart they have exercise with confessions. Practices curse children. Let me read that one more time. Have an eyes full of adultery and that cannot cease from sin. Be God and unstable souls and on the heart they have earned exercise with confessions, practices, curse children. Alright, so, man, verse 15, I'm gonna read this one right here. It said, Which have forsaken the right way and are gone astray, following the way of Balaam, the son of Bosa, who loved the wages of unrighteousness. Alright, so beware, man. The Bible's warning you. It's not just 
telling you, God, right, there's a God and there's a Jesus, and just be good. And, and you can still sin, and you can still watch porn, you can still watch these unrated things, and you're going to make it to that. You're going to make it to, to, to the New Jerusalem. You're going to make it to uh, in a heaven where you're going to have tons of wives, or tons of husbands, and everything. Everything will be blessed. Or heaven is already here on earth. No, no, hell no. Hell no. We in different worlds as we speak, man. And, and John, John talks about the worlds too as well. All right. So this is this may this video be a program for you to watch. All right. Program whatever I said into your minds. You know, and I hope you become changed and be delivered up. All right. This is my next scripture. Be sober, be vigilant. Um, this is some healthy scriptures I'm gonna bring out. Okay, First Peter, chapter five. First Peter, chapter five, verse eight. Verse eight. I want to say another thing too as well. My situation, um, I used to like smoke a lot of crazy weed and drink liquor at the same time. I used to abuse myself to a point that I, I know something was wrong with me and, and, and it was like a gateway. I feel like I had gateways that's leading me, you know, all kinds of different gateways and they all combine it because it's a negative source of energy. So I'm thinking my mind like being real smart, like, yeah, man. Drunker, and, and I'm like, Satan could come in, in so many ways. It could be in your home, it could be in your mind, be in your dreams, be outdoors. You could be when you, you could be in your mind when you're angry and all that. And then you just, you know, you have this thing called hormones that will get in your streams, you know, for your heart, and it will be blended with, with your, you know, by you being high, doped up, or whatever, you know what I mean? You gotta be careful. So, the scripture. Bring out for anyone. For um, it's in all uh, First Peter chapter five, <clears throat> verse eight. Okay, so to be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, has a roaring lion, walk about seeing who he may devour. So you might be drunk, whatever. You know, there should be no excuses. That's why you have weak people up like, oh, I got drunk. I got high or whatever it is, and then, you know, I just had a whack off or whatever, though. You know, I had to play my, sh my stuff and all that, whatever, and then that's the excuse. And then that means if that if, if that happened, then you, you should never do it again. You should play to yourself distance. This is why I don't respect prostitutes. I don't respect strip clubs. I don't respect pornography. None of that crap cares about anyone, man. It may look, they may... Seems like they living a good life, they living their best life. Nah, they living a fast life. All that pornography life, pimping, all that crap, man. All that wickedness, man. And it's even giving worship to Sai and Gamal, giving worship to other gods, giving worship to other demons, you know, false gods, you know what I'm saying? Wickedness. Wickedness. Now, uh, what else I have here? Okay. Not bad, I got a couple of more scriptures I want to bring out. I'm going to end this video with Jude. Okay. Alright, so let's go to more sins. Alright. You know, lust is a sin, so let me bring out Romans real quick in the New Testament. Just take heed to the message. That's all you need to do, everyone. Please. Romans chapter 6 verse 23 <clears throat> and it said for the wage of sin is death but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord and that's the Messiah okay so to you Jesus Christ believers because I'm a believer of the Messiah myself alright and it's telling you itself alright Romans chapter 6 
verse 23 for the wage of sin is death but the gift of god is his eternal life through jesus christ our lord all right so i have accept the son and you know that's on your behalf whether you believe it or not or you're a tour only person you know still regardless of not the wage of the sin is leading you to death all right pornography is leading you to death leading you putting you in this portal hole your eyes is putting you in this portal hole you mean, while you're watching and leading you to death you hear the word P-O-R, take the N-O off, all right, and put T-A-L, you got portel, okay, portel, portelling, okay, the words, these words, the spiritual too as well, and it's telling you poor no, don't, poor no, you should be saying no to porn, <laughs> mix these words up, I'm just joking, not joking around, but I'm being, you know, I'm trying to use ways, methods, and try to see if I can open any one mind, all right. So that was Romans chapter 6, verse 23. Wages of death. Wages of sin is death. All right. Let me see if I can bring out some wisdom real quick. All right. Hope this video is not boring or anything. Hope any, someone taking heed. you feeling lit off of this video, okay? Proverbs 14 and 12. There is a way which seem right unto a man, but the but the end there are thereof are the ways of death. So if you think it's right, whatever you think you feel like it's best for you, you want to wipe your porn and you're abusing yourself, then that's on you, man. If some people I'm not gonna tell those a to be whatever you want to do, that's in your end. But if you watching or you lusting up another woman that's not yours or whatever. Or less than I thought, man, and it's to you, sodomites too as well, watching another man too as well, and watching another man is violating Leviticus, the violating the Moses law, all right, violating God, period, violating yourself, all right, because once you say you believe in God, do you, don't you expect to have God be, you know, within you, just think about it, all right, and if he's within you, just think about everything he's witnessing, what you're doing to yourself outside of the body, all right. So you want to worry about what's inside your world, your temple, all right? Just think, and that's all you have to do, all right? All right, so let me get to Jude. This is the last scripture. Jude chapter 1. Let me give you a history of Sodom, Sodom, of Sodom real quick. That the, the, the spirit of Sodom and Gomorrah is definitely out on 2020, man. Sodom everywhere. If somebody has to be all this, you know, Wake those up, man. It's dead wrong, man. The Bible speaks against us. Who's writing this stuff in the Bible? You know what I mean? What heterosexual write this Bible? Some people say it's a homosexual that wrote the Bible. So what what homosexual would be like, don't lay down with another man? Who would say that? Obviously it's a wise person, wise person that you know have the word delivering them. But you know, all these prophets that wrote records, records we have records in this Bible. Who will write this? And it'd be like this is government control. Really, but the government's allowing pornography. Who can this come from? This coming all this is coming from the creator. He created everything. Think. And this is my world, so I choose the biblical world. Cause I chose to be holy. You know, I know what I'm gonna do with my fuel, and I need that most high fire, man. That's it. I need his holy fire within me. And so that way I can spread my holy fire onto those that need to hear messages like this. Please take heed. I'm not saying nothing wrong. I'm not doing anything wrong and I'm not speaking of threats. I'm just giving out warning. Alright? So let me go find the book of Jude. scriptures like Jude, well, I'm going to bring out scriptures like Jude, okay, and then, on page number 70 in my book, in my sword, give me one second, Jude 
Matthew chapter 1, verse 7. And it says, even as Sodom and Gomorrah, okay, the spirits of Sodom and Gomorrah, everyone, and the cities about them in like manner, giving himself over to fornication and going after strange flesh, are set for an example, suffering the vengeance of, the, of eternal fire. All right. Likewise, also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise the many, and speak evil of the nation. All right. All right. So yet, yeah, and let me read on real quick. It says, "Yet Michael the archangel, all right, when contending with the devil, he disputed. Okay, it was an argument about the body of Moses." Durst not bring bring against him a real accusation, but said, The Lord rebuke thee. But these speak evil of those things that which they know not, but what they know naturally as brute beasts in those things they corrupt themselves. Woe unto them, woe unto them, for they have gone in the way of Cain. This Cain, you know, none of them, like Cain is like the son of a hand, Cain followed after this. Off to his father Ham, his 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 progenitor, you know. So Ham have seen the naked of Noah, like I brought this out. And I'm thinking like something's telling me to get this message out. Something's telling me as I read, keep reading, reading. So I'm telling you just burst out and tell you this though. This is a spiritual message. It's telling you about something. It's telling you that what's gonna happen to you. And if you don't wanna listen, then it's gonna be definitely rich. Woe to you. It's gonna be stretching onto you. You're gonna have a bad day. You're gonna be going through days where you think it's just bad luck or something. Or it's just you. No, it's the most high doing it. It's the creator doing it. He's causing it. See, he said, Woe unto them, for they have gone in the way of Cain and ran greedy after the era of Balaam for reward and perish in the gain sale of course. So, that we're, what we're doing today is like a reflection of this um, chapter, Jude chapter 1, all right? And you know, as I was reading throughout the scriptures, so you need to take heed to the message I just brought out. I hope somebody get uplifted. I'm not bringing those psalms. I brought out Proverbs, all right? So please take it to this video. Uh, it's like freaking, I did like 42, 42, 42 minutes and 40 something seconds down here on this video, all right? So I hope those appreciated. Drop some likes and comments, you know, and spread the word, all right? Well, praise to y'all for having this video. My name is Crown Z. It's, it was nice having you here to whoever who was a viewer watching this reality of, you know, the biblical world, okay, where the facts is at, alright, so peace, shalom, shalom, shalom to all, all praises, and Kwame Ashtarala to Israel, thank you for watching.